I was skeptical at first when I heard about Triwotex. I didn't quite believe it. It was impressive to see their stuff, but as a engine developer, tester, I have hundreds of hours on engine dynos. I grew up with many performance vehicles. My family had a dealership. We had muscle cars. My dad had drag boats. I loved engines. Being a machinist, working with metal, welding, I'm like, you can't reverse wear without welding and machining and recutting it. And uh, I started to look at some of their studies and the reports and started following um, a hydroplane <laughs> that I heard that was running the, the product. And this hydroplane started breaking lake records and hearing that they were still using the same transmission throughout the season, I was like, okay, I will try it. I decided to science it a little bit and put a decibel meter on my engine before and after. And so I set it up and it was idling about 70 decibels, which really isn't that loud. It sounded pretty smooth, pretty quiet. And I ended up um, putting it in and I was really nervous. I was afraid that I was going to ruin my only vehicle, that this was, I just sentenced it to death, you know, listening for any kind of weird noises, anything. And I was almost paranoid for the first hundred miles. And I'm like, okay, nothing's, nothing's happening. It's, it's fine. Nothing's going to break, nothing bad. And then I remember after about 300 miles, I came home one night and I couldn't hear my engine, but I could see my tachometer perfectly still. And I was just like, it was eerily quiet. I, um, so I got pulled my emergency brake and got out and listened to the car while it was idling. And this Jeep was so quiet that I could like hear new sounds. I was hearing my internal cabin fans bearings going out. I, I was noticing the sounds of my transmission. I could hear the sounds of my tires. My engine was no longer making noise. It's not a quiet engine by any means either. It's a 3.8 liter V6. I mean, these, they ran these things in minivan engines. They're not known for performance or gas mileage, um, but I was shocked at how quiet it was. And after I've ran it for, I think I'm over 10,000 miles now, and I'm really starting to notice an improvement in my fuel economy. Don't know if that's necessarily a placebo effect, that I'm more conscious of it, but even so, I'm recording higher and higher gas mileages, and I've been hitting up to 25 miles per gallon in this old V6 engine that's got 130,000 miles on it. So I've read a lot of reports that these engines tend to start to die around 100,000 miles, and it sounds brand new. I mean, it's smooth it's quiet it's exciting so i got other problems that i got to work on uh, but the engine is now smooth because of tribotex hi my name is brian i am a bioenergy engineer uh, recently graduated with my master's degree and i am a fan of tribotex